Oh, hey, got this new transporter app on my phone. I want to see if it works. We need to be going over to Andy's house. We're going to be installing some trimmer racks on his trailer. Here we go. Let's see if it works. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Link's here too. It works. It works. Wow, that was awkward. That was awkward. That was both awkward. <laughs> What is going on? It worked. Hey. What's up, man? How's it going? Hey, guys. It's Randy with Guitars Girls Green Grass and Guns. Today, we're going to be installing a equipment defender on Andy's new trailer. So stick around and hope you enjoy. Equipment defender. <laughs> so first, we're going to be putting on the equipment defender backpack blower rack. <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to show you how simple this is to put on. They give you all the equipment that you need to run this to install it. We did have to go out and buy a couple of spacers just because of the way this trailer is set up. But everything that comes in here is very versatile so that you can pretty much install it anywhere. On a wall, on an enclosed trailer, on a, a trailer with sides on it. Uh, very easy to install. So I'll show you how all that's done. So the only exception with this trailer, you can see how this is tubing right here. So it sticks out a little bit. We had to put some washers in here and that's the only exception. Other than that, all you need is a 3 8 drill bit. You drill some holes through the side of your, of your bed there. And you can see what kind of mount this is now. This goes around both sides. You just put the bolts through here and bolt it to your side. And even if you've got the uh, a square post right here, these do come with other wrap arounds that you can bolt these together and squeeze it onto a post coming off your trailer. So a simple 3 8 hole and put your, your nuts and screws through there and shore them up. And this is the blower rack. So this is actually gonna be installed just as soon as we tighten these up. And then I'll go over how to install the top portion of this to hold your blowers in place. Alright, you just watched me tighten down these bolts. Now you can see actually how strong the equipment defender stands on there. It's That's it's crazy. solid as a rock and the solid. moving the whole trailer. That thing's not moving one bit. So when it comes to installing your base plate on this, you want to put it on here and you want to feel what feels comfortable on the height. What we're going to do here is cut this down to this level here. That way the shelf will be a lot lower and that's going to be a lot more comfortable to grab your backpack off of. Thanks, Milwaukee. Oh. First, took it went a little lower. So, as you can see, you need to cut this down to where you feel comfortable and where. down low that way you're not reaching up high you want it chest level or a little bit lower so we got this cut down as far as it'll go and I'm going to show you how easy this is to install like you got the two bolts here this slides down on here you have two set screws here you have another two set screws right here that slides on there just like that and your up post just slides right into the back so you just slide this in here and this bottom set is all set up once we tighten the set screws and then uh, you know next all we got to do is put the locking mechanism on here and the locking mechanism on the top and I'll show you that. So what we're going to do now is just simply slip this on here 
This is the adjustable base for the bottom. And this, what, this is what allows the equipment defender racks to literally hold any blower you have. So I need to loosen up this set screw right here and this bar will go in here. You know, no matter what backpack you have in here, you can squeeze this up to it or away from it, depending on how big your backpack is. And when I say backpack, I mean a blower, so. So we'll just kind of mock this up for now. Just get everything somewhat tight to where it's not gonna flop around. And then once we get the rest of it installed, we'll get it all mocked up to where it fits my personal backpack layer. And this right here is your mount for your tube on your backpack blowers. Each one's different. Some of them have thinner tubes and thicker tubes, mile per hour, CFM, whatever. I have the BR700. It has a very, very thick tube. So on this, on mine, I had to bend it all out, which I'll have to do again to just hold mine properly. But other things you can do on these that I've seen just to kind of make them your own, you could use like different kinds of straps, Velcro straps, put a hole in it, wrap it around your tubes and stuff like that instead of just using a bracket like this if your tube doesn't fit correctly. But there's all kinds of different ways to do it. But yeah, just adjust this to kind of where your tube sits in the trailer. So this is the lock for the backpack blower rack itself, which is also adjustable. Set screws on the bars to change uh, whether the handle on top of your blower is different, in and out, stuff like that. But it's already set up and ready to go. Only thing you got to do, if you want to swing around on this side, before installing it, make sure it's unlocked and the latch is down. That way it'll slide freely. Because with it off, it's always going to slide freely. And that's where this piece right here comes into play next. So this piece right here is going to be the keeper for the locking mechanism itself. Like I said, this goes freely if you don't have one. So after you unlock your blower, pull it up to the top and it clips and latches right on this right here to hold that up while you're getting your blower on and off the trailer. So from this point, it's all about just kind of mocking everything up to where it fits your blower personally. There's different things you can do. I could have these wider to where I can get to my gas cap at all times or not. To me, it doesn't bother me that much. I fuel it when I don't have it up here. So I just get it to where it's like a snug fit and it's a nice little cozy cradle, if you would. And just kind of snug these down. That's its cozy little corner right there nice and secure see now I already noticed I have to move this up so I can adjust accordingly for the blower it's a little too close to it right now I shoot better than you by far by a lot <laughs> what, you Call of Duty I played that shit. I played Halo I used to professional game it's real life stuff yeah. Experience. That's why I like Halo better because you can get shot like four or five times before you die so just once. Bullshit. Fake real life stuff. Oh, I'm getting shot. I want a chance to run a little bit. Push the pause button, strategize. Yep. Change the options real quick from hard to easy. Like real life. Now, as you can see, we got this all adjusted. This has a spring on it so that it falls away from your handle. So when you're ready to lock your equipment in here, you just pull this down, release the lever up here, and it comes down and snugly holds your handle in place, 
That way the, nobody can take it anyhow. And once you have it down here, you want to close this. Now this does have a cam lock on it so that it actually cams onto this post. And it's, it's, it's new, so it needs to be broke in a little bit. So it's a little snug right now. It's a little bit difficult. Not really difficult, but it's pretty stiff to get on and off into the lock and lock position. Now you can just uh, stick your, I don't know, Coke bottle key in here and lock it, and you're good to go. So if you guys are interested in purchasing any of the Equipment Defender products, I will leave a link in the description for Andy with Cut and Clean Lawn Care's affiliate link, and that should give you a 10% discount off in the near future. I'm not sure how long that's gonna last. So as you can see, it's very simple to install the Equipment Defender blower backpack rack. Thanks for stopping by Guitars Girls Green Grass and Guns. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a like, give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you would. Thanks for watching. I'm out.